I'm Real Genetic Demon, and this is What's on the Tape, Season 3, Volume 8. And this is an interesting one. This is these are some tapes that were sent to me by a lovely chap called um, Daryl, um, and he sent me a, a collection of these. I'm going to put it on the screen right now, actually, um, because he was also trying to solve my 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 nightmare rally problem because I, I didn't have a working copy of that. So, so he sent me a little collection of tapes, and as you can see on the screen, it's just now. Um, he also sent me a few others as well. So some for what's on the tape over on the far side there. He sent me a whole collection of other things I wasn't really expecting, including Dynamite Dan Two, which is. Fantastic! I'm really looking forward to playing that. So I've got quite a few new games there that I actually haven't got. So so I'm quite pleased. It's really good. Anyway, back to the back to the tapes. Anyway, um, so we've got um, and I I, I kind of like I like the almost. I mean, because of course Amstrad took over Spectrum, but I kind of like the I like the irony of this. And um, we've got games that are taped on um, Amsoft tapes, so we've got Amsoft ones there, and we've got on here we've got Armageddon. It says on this side. Um, I'm not sure what's on that side, so this is going to be interesting. Um, and on this one, we have, <coughs> if you have a look at the top there, we have Top Cat, um, and 20 minutes left, it says. Um, it may be Top Cat, but it may not. There's, there's nothing on the other side. So so we've got those ones, which I'm looking forward to. Um, the other thing is I've got the cases for it, which are written on. I'm just opening it now. Um, one of them says this is the Armageddon one. This is the Armageddon one. It says it says Ad Astra. So we might have Ad Astra on the other side, which would be quite nice. And then if we get the other tape case, we actually have. It says, and I don't think this is right because I don't think it can be this one. It says Sherlock Holmes and Holy Grail. So we we, we may have a surprise on our hands here because actually, if you look scribbled out on this particular one, it says uh, BC Bill. So it could 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 quite. Easily be BCUL. So anyway, just in case they don't work, we've got this one, which is basically um, the Crash Smash tape. Are they called Crash Smash? No, because Crash tapes weren't they? Crash tapes from uh, August 1989, so 30 years ago. Um, this is the tape we're going to play. So we've got Metabolis. We've got Nontaracuous. That's a great words. Oh, Nontaracuous. Um, Mountain of Ket, which I've played before, and Ultimate Warrior, which I think I've played as well. I think that's an isometric one created by um, the, the CRL program. But anyway, so without further ado, I'm going to... I'll take that away for a second. Without further ado, hide over there. Um, without further ado, I think we'll start with the one that we can see is obviously Armageddon. I don't remember Armageddon. This is a matching game. I think it is. Anyway, so without further ado, I'm going to stick that and stick that in the tape drive, and we're going to power up the specky. Right, we're in front of the spectrum, and yeah, I did, I did knock over the, uh, the, 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 um, oh god, what do you call them? The, the, the uh, tripod when I was trying to record there, or to record to put the tape in, I did actually knock it over. What an idiot! Anyway, so we've got this first tape. I've got it in the side, and it says Armageddon in it. So it says actually, it says on it a load dick dick code. I like that. So, 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 uh, I said we don't get many, many of these, and it's always a bit of a, it's always an interesting one when you do get one. Cause, so it's just loading straight machine code this one. So there we go, load it, it, and then uh, no, wrong one. God, I'm gonna extend it mode code. There we go, load dot did it code. Let's give it a go. Armageddon. Um, is this there was an ocean game um, called Armageddon? I'm sure of it. Mind you, to be fair, there would have been loads of them. That was the thing, wasn't it? It was like it was like death, you know, whatever it was, and this, that, and the other back in the back in the Spectrum days. It was everything was a was a was a sort of a, a, a sort of explosion or something, you know, something blowing up, you know, death cruisers and deaths, death, this, that, and the other, and you know. And Armageddon here and now and all this kind of stuff. So I can't, I'm not surprised really. Okay, so I definitely said Armageddon there. That was a good. Oh, that was a good load. Top marks there, Daryl, for keeping this one safe. <laughs> oh no, the screen looks like that. That can't be right. Should we see if it'll load on a bit further? This is going to be funny. Let's see if it actually does anything. Can't imagine this is going to work too well. Nice solid loading sound, though. Maybe it doesn't like the... Uh, I'm on the plus 2A still, because I still haven't got around to getting the, uh, the the original plus 2 sorted. And I have got, from the, from the from my lovely friend um, Andre Russell, a, 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 a toast rack. Um, he's given me a, 
a, a nice 128k one. I need to I need to learn how to. Well, I'm not really to learn. I need to fire that up and we'll give it a go with something else. Let's give this a try again. We'll give this a try again. We'll give this another reset. Oh, this is not going to be another one of those tips, by the way, that we spend most of the thing loading um, things. Or oh, not, it not, or things not loading, baby. I don't know. Right, I'm rambling. Let's go for it. So I've got, yeah, I've got that to try as well. And they're much more compatible. They, they basically, um, the um, Amstrad, I mean, to be fair, you, you can see it was a cost-effective method. What they did is they reduced the chip count. Um, so there's less, 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 you know, certain chips installed on the, on the whole thing, you know. So there was a lot less requirement and the cost went down. So, so yeah, it was, it was pretty, it was pretty commonplace to do that reducing the chip count it's like games consoles nowadays i mean xbox the 360 for instance went through at least two or three iterations because obviously you had the red ring of death thing that they had with it but also they changed the processor and merged a few things in there so so it doesn't look like it's right does it no that does not look like it's right so so although it's loading it doesn't look like it's right okay Right, right. We'll tell you what we're gonna do. We're gonna do ZX Play already, and I can't believe this. I, I, I was so, I was so convinced that it was gonna be a full-on loader there. I was so convinced that we were gonna get away with that one that I wasn't gonna have to do this. So hang on, I'll run over across the road. I'm across the road. I'm not going across the road. I'm only going across the room just to get the, the, uh, the add-on piece for the for the spectrum. You know, the tape play in thing, the MP3 thing that used to used to get these with cars. <laughs> That's what they were for. In fact, the picture of it is a picture of a car. You know, when you had a tape cassette, the whole way back then, when, and you put your CD player into the car, and you wanted to play from your your portable CD player, and you had one of these things. So let's let's do that. Let's find this is Play ZX. Brilliant bit of kit. This because it allows you to still load it from your from your mobile phone. So uh, let's have a little look and see if it appears in here. Armageddon. I'm quite convinced it will do. I'm surprised if it doesn't. Um, um, right, now there's several of these here. I'm wondering whether it's this, this, well, there's lots of them actually. There's one by Silversoft, one by um, Fashionsoft, that sounds awesome, 16k game. Fashionsoft, um, one by um, Ocean, and what else have we got here that's on here? SVS Soft 1993. I don't think it'll be the 1993 one. It's going to be one of the 16K ones. Very tempted to try Fashion Soft's one. Should we give that a try? Let's do that. Do that one. Let's give this a go. So I'll push the play button on here, and we'll go down here, and we'll do we'll do we'll do load load it code, and we'll see whether or not that actually does the job. Okay, so it's waiting for it. Play. I'm hoping it's this one because this, this is a very quick loader. This one. Maybe. No, that's not it. Do you know how I know that's not it? Because it said bytes on the other one, didn't it? So let's rewind that. We don't need to rewind the tape. It's, 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 it's digital. Let's stop it on there. Let's go with... Let's go with... Let's go with... 83... Let's go with... It didn't strike me as... Let's go with Silversoft's version of it. So let's try that. So I'll push the play on here again. No, that's not... I can stop that one. Wait to play that one instead. That's his program I'm getting. That doesn't sound good. So that's not, not our right one. So let's stop that one as well. Let's go with the ocean version of it. I wonder if it's this one. It's the ocean version now. No, Armageddon again. I wonder if it's this very last one. It can't be 1993. I doubt it's 1993. There's a 16k one. Oh no, we don't want that. We want this one. Stop that one. Let's try this one. Oh. Ah, tape error. That's because that's because I just changed it. You see, halfway through. Mm. That's halfway through the loading the code. It got upset. Oh, I've started load code. Well, I'm not. Hang on. Stop. 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 Go right back to the beginning. Stop. Play. No, 
No! Nineteen ninety three one. I tell you what, though, I have to admit, I, I'm really tempted to see what this Fashion Soft one was. I mean, I don't know who Fashion Soft was, but let's 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 do Fashion Soft's version of it. Let's see what they did. Let's do load it for this. Because I'm very tempted. I, I think I think this is worth worth trying. Because like, it sounds completely. I've never a game. I've never heard of. So let's give it a go. Lots of Armageddon's there. Arms. There we go. Fashion Soft version. 16K game from 1983. Very early days. Very, very early days. Let's see what this one's like. I wonder what that one was. I'd love to know what that was. On the other one. The, the other tape. Hmm. Load code, Armageddon. And it was loading something with some kind of background. Do you recognise it? Um, if you do, stick it in the comments below. If you recognise the loading screen there. I, I know there wasn't a lot to see, but um, if you recognise it, let's go for it. Uh, game speed, one. Oh! 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 It's um, a, a version of Centipede by the looks of things, and everything's moving by itself by the looks of things as well. Where am I? Wonder what the keys are. Oh, am I that thing at the top? It's like a version of Centipede, but with like really good. The thing about it is, what I'm going to say. I mean, I know it's not working properly, as is typical. But look at the look at the lack of color clash. Somebody's went to an awful lot of effort to make sure that the characters are the right size. That's definitely me there. But why why am I not moving? Oh, I've kind of popped out of the things now. It's probably because it's not. It's running on the the the, the this mach on the um on the uh, on the on the uh, my ma brain is completely fudged today. It really is. And the one took eight k. It's and it's the plus two a as well. I suspect that's probably the reason why this isn't working the way it should be working. But I can. I'm 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 gonna I'm gonna highlight here. This is actually really well done. The fact that the the the, the clash isn't there. It looks really good. As you can see, there's a little man in the the, the thing before he disappears briefly there. Um, and we sh it's a shoot 'em up. We're shooting all the things. It's basically centipede, but obviously with some alien some beasts. I'm assuming you get to shoot the one at the top if you can get to, get it to move. Um, there'll be some stupid thing about it that I've got something stuck. And when you press the brake key, it boot reboots itself. Oh, how marvelous! So so or restarts the machine. Power cycles it. That's what it does. Power cycles it. That was quite cool. That one actually. I quite like the look of that one. Fashion soft. Armageddon. That looks like what? That's a game I'm going to have to look out for for my own collection. To be honest with you, that looks really good. Right, I'm going to rewind the other side of this tape and we'll give it a try. We'll give this this am soft one a try. I think as I say, I've said before, it was it was kind of it's kind of cool that it's am soft. Um, the fact that it's it's kind of the Amstrad software side, but at the same time it becomes the Spectrum side at the same time. You know, it's it's that that, that kind of crossover. I'm just looking. I'm. I. Do you know some of this? They're, it's they're nice machines. These they're pretty robust. The 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 plus twos and the in the in the in the, in the black. They are pretty robust. They are nice little machines. The addition to the tape deck's good, apart from the fact there's no, uh, no uh, sort of, you know, counter on there, so. Right, let's see. Oh, straight away. Straight in there. Ad Astra. Oh, Ad Astra. Oh, I like Ad Astra. I've, I've played this one before. This is a great game. Gargoyle game. Um, do I have a copy? I have a copy somewhere. But, but yeah, Ad Astra is really, really, really... It's a great shooter. It's um, perspective as going into the screen and shooting that way. It's really nice. It's a good shooter. really is. really like Ad Astra. Let's hope it loads. Fingers crossed. No, last week was an absolute awful week for uh, R tape errors, wasn't it? It was just R tape her 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 heaven. Oh, my brain today. It must be Sunday. That's what it is. It's Sunday. I've, I've slept in too long. That's what it was. Oh, yes! Gargoyle Games! Ad Astra! I love that gargoyle. He's so cool. It's like leaping out the screen at you. In fact, he's got that kind of, you know, the American football pose, you know, he's like on the line when they're, they're going to scrimmage, as it's called. I don't, do, I don't do American football. 
don't do much sport to be honest with you it's not it's not one of my things don't mind playing it i just don't like watching it if that makes sense it's a weird kind of thing anyway um so but he's there on the scrimmage line you know sort of going to charge forward with you and headbutt you with his horn probably to be fair it's going to be pretty nasty that come to think of it unless that's his quiff he's got a little quiff hairdo going on i don't know it possibly <laughs> Um, and I'm quite excited though. We've definitely we've got definitely got um, the crash August 1989 to go. Um, so 30 years ago in August, um, crash. In fact, it's usually the month before, wasn't it? Why do magazine co companies do that? You'll get like August in July. Never really understood that. You'd think they'd ship it on the first of July, uh, first of August, sorry, instead of the like end of July, like the first week of July, but anyway, um, so, so we've got August 1989, um, which is, which is going to be fun, I think, um, Metabolis is a game I have not played, non Tracuous I know of, I believe that's a, a favourite of uh, Mr. David Birdsell, actually, I think he's a big fan of uh, non Tracuous, um, he's, he's, he often goes on about it, I'm sure Soul of the Robot is the follow-up to it, though, um, I might be wrong, um, Mountains, Mountain of Ket, I can't, I, I think I've played this before, it's like a, a weird kind of interactive uh, adventure game, and then as I said before, Ultimate Warrior. I think is a, a, a 3D um, a isometric sort of wander around, and I'm sure it's like a little Indian brave of some sort, um, you know, um, something like that. But I can't remember. We'll see. We'll see what happens. So hopefully, it'll be something better than that. But but because I'm not a big fan, of, I I thought they were technically beautiful isometric games, but I wasn't a fan really. Um, uh, and you know, I, 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 who was the? F uh, was it? F can we? Can we? Can we? Can we rightfully say that uh, um, Ultimate Play the game were the first to push those kind of games out? I mean, remember they they they, they delayed one of them, didn't they? Because of uh, the fact that they thought that that it would be too much for people to handle this new sort of three dimensional, um, you know, side on view would have been too much for them, so they held back. And I can't remember which game it was. Was it Night Law? One of the two, anyway. They held back and they let the two D games go out, the flat sort of two D platform games go out that year, and they, they 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 then produced it thinking that you know it would be too much for people, but it wasn't. It was absolutely spot on. I mean, it did. I say spot on. I didn't like them, but. I could see them te the technical value of them, and I could see the way that they were pushing things, um, and it was very, very clever. I think it's just the way that it walked, because it was kind of very much, you know, left, right, up and down, or <laughs> north, northeast, northwest, southeast, southwest, if you want to do it on a compass sort of style, because of the way that the screen was skewed at a 45 degree angle, and you were up at about a 45 degree angle, would you say? I don't... I, yeah, that would be about right. So, so the kind of the way that they were skewed never really quite sat with me, and I, I just that movement it just didn't feel as fluid as some of the other games where you could move your character all the way around and sort of there wasn't that sort of chunking between sort of swapping between um, going one direction and the other because you couldn't couldn't do two at the same time, and that was the thing. It was like four directions instead of possibly eight. It's possibly the way of describing it. Oh. He's speaking to us, look. It's a little mouth sort of... Right, okay. Okay, let's get the keys sorted out. And I can't remember what the keys are for us, so let's go to the stars. This is going to be interesting, because I can't remember the keys. Hey, go to the stars. Let's hope we can guess the keys. Let's see if we can guess the keys. That's up and down. Is that left and right? That's left and right. And there's fire. Oh, that's easy. Yeah, so they've got like the Star Wars themed things coming through. Yeah, you got to avoid the rocks. But I just like the way it's sort of positioned. It's 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 another game where there there is um, little or no color clash, which is um, wasn't rare for the Spectrum, but it's it's there. Oh, big sprite, big explosions. Um, just just a general shoot 'em up. Um, nothing. I'm nothing. I'm nothing to write home about. Of course, it's something to write home about. I've just moved my fingers on the keyboard, by the way, and, and crashed into something. There, that was bad from me. That's better. That's sorting. That's uh, no, it's not. Uh, so you got the sort of Star Wars theme things that come in because this. I think they're like Death Stars, aren't they? Gosh, I'm terrible today. I really like this game. I think Ad Astra is one of my one of my favourite shoot 'em ups. Definitely. I keep forgetting about it though. On that, you know, when you when you when there's this sort of games that you think about that you like and you, you you've enjoyed playing in the past, and I keep crashing into stupid little things there. 
I can do better than this. Honestly, I promise you, I can do better. It's because I'm tra it's because I'm yakking. My little jaws are moving. Um, but yeah, it reminds me a little bit of um, Faster Than Light with that that initial section there, um, where they're sort of coming at you. It, that's kind of cool. So it's great stuff, though. Oh damn it! It's got a Tie Fighter, but I'm sure it's not called a Tie Fighter, and this is something else. Or maybe they could call it a Tie Fighter. Do you think they? Would, do you think they went that far and just just went the whole hog and said it's a Tie Fighter? Just avoid these first off. These boulders, you can't shoot them. All right, let's shoot this guy. That guy. Right. Oh damn it! I saw the shot and I flew right up into it. Longest run. Look at that! It's got timing and everything. I forgot all about that. Every time I play it, I forget all about this. It's a great game. One more go. Definitely another go. Yeah, definitely worth playing. Definitely worth spending some time on. Definitely worth enjoying. Here we go. Avoid, avoiding these boulders. Look at how great they are. They're even rotating. I hadn't even re realised that. that those, those asteroids are actually rotating in, in space. Oh, damn it. I keep seeing the shots then flying into them. Grrr. You see, the best part about this is not only is there a high score, but there's a time on it. I mean, if you were playing this with your mates, you'd be dead chuffed. You know, I've, I've lasted longer than you have, and all that kind of stuff. That's a good one, this. I don't know how common it is. I bet, I bet it's quite common. I bet it knocks around a bit. I bet there's a few of them knocking around. Oh, let's see if I can last more than my, my first first score, which is, what, 1 minute and 23 seconds? I'm sure I can do that. Right, I'm going to keep an eye on the, the shots. Right, okay. Keeping an eye. I'm keeping an eye on them. They seem to fire three rounds, three or four shots. Right, okay. That's it. That's it. Cool. We finished the first level. Oh, I might have finished the first level. Yes, I have. Definitely. Look at them. They're coming a lot faster, but they're rotating. Look at them, though. The little creators and things are spinning around on those, on those, on those things. Here's the next wave. Oh, oh, that was close. They got little tie fighters with them as well. Little red ones. Look. Oh, wave after wave after wave. These are the things, though. These are the proper arcade games. I mean, th these 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 are the games that the uh, little spec this little spectrum loved. And I mean, yeah, obviously the 48k improves it with a with an improved sound chip and all the other bits and pieces and a bit more memory, so you could load a lot more in. But some of these these sort of f you know f single screen. I mean, with 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 this one with this sort of illusion of flying through space. Um, these are great. These are the some of the best. I love it. Love it, love it, love it, love it, love it. Look at all those bullets. They're just firing a hail of bullets at me. And I, do you know something? If it stayed out of the way of them, it would have been all right. No, it's a good game. Good, great game. It's called the F1 ship. No, I don't know if it's Formula 1. They're having to go out as well there. Uh, maybe. Ah, survived it. Much to my surprise there, I survived that. Those little red ones are... Oh, have I made another level? I have. Level three. Look at the time. Two minutes and 27 seconds. I'm doing absolutely brilliantly. Uh-oh. Uh-oh. I've just flown right into it. What an idiot. What the heck is that? That looks like a destroyer of some sort. Do you know, that just tells you an awful lot, though, because I haven't seen that before. I've done so much better than I've ever done before on this game. We need to... We need to... We need must... must we must we must take on this destroyer. Oh look, they're like oh wow. Oh gosh. Wow. I'm so sad, Anna. I? I just get so excited about these things. Ah, it's brilliant. Two minutes and th fifty-seven seconds. I guess it just gets better and better and better. Well, that's a, that was a that was a good start. Do you know something? I think I made a big mistake there. I should have checked if there was anything else on it, to be honest with you. Let's have a little look at this tape. Don't know. I should have checked. 
I bet there is as well. This is even the worst part about it. I bet there's something on there. Right, I'm gonna skip it anyway because we're gonna we've got another tape to go. So so let's do that. We've got in fact we've got another two tapes to go because we've got the, the crash one. So we'll skip that. But um, no, you're right. I should have checked that. I'll check that after this next one. So we have got this one, which I don't know what it says. It says on it, Top Cat Three. Top Cat Three. Twenty minutes left. So maybe there is some more on this one. We'll give this one a try. So we'll hit the reset button here. I don't think these are. I'm not sure whether these are your, was were Daryl's personally, um, but these tapes. But but uh, um, they've been all right actually thus far. Yeah. Okay. We had a bit of failing with that at that Armageddon. I'd love to know what that was though. Yeah. As I say, if you can, if you recognise anything about partially about that loading screen, that would be great. If you can let me know in the comments below because I think we need to try that one at some point but that fashion soft version of it wow what a surprise that was that was a del delightfully um well designed and pretty spectrum game very good um deserves a little bit of accolade that one for sort of, sort of, sort of the, the, the 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 way it looks and of course Ad Astra is an absolute classic okay we're playing nothing thus far Tapes playing. I'm going round and round. Top Cat. He's the leader of the gang. Top Cat. He's called TC, wasn't he? He's yellow with a purple um, waistcoat and a hat. That's what he was. If you're old enough. Was it Hanna, Bur Hanna, Hanna Barbera or whatever they're called? Those guys created it. Same people did Scooby Doo. I think it was. That's not very good. Go a little fast forward. Hang on. Something weird going on there. This. Hang on. There's a there's a music on this. Get the tape player out. Let's have a little look. Listen. That's spectrum noises. So, but the tape's not the tape head's not picking it up. Well, the, the, the little the little the little tape head isn't picking it up. Let me just let me just give it a little wind back again. We'll see if we can give it another try. See if we can get it to pick it up. It's just a bit. Maybe it's a bit too quiet for it. It's not picking it up. So, uh, I mean, we'll 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 we'll, we'll see what's. Uh, See whether or not it does. Oh, hang on. Now all of a sudden we're getting the nut. We're getting some. We're getting some. That's weird. I can hear the tape head, um, or the tape drive, sort of um, um, whistling with this one a little bit. It's sort of going. Ee! You probably can't hear it on the microphone, but it's going ee! like that. Give this a rewind back. I'm gonna. I've turned it off. And we'll try side B first, and we'll see what happens on side B. See whether we can, we can, we can force the issue. As I say, we've got a lot to go anyway. We've got a lot to get through. We're working our way through some good stuff. Now I've got a few more from uh, that that uh, I've been sent. So so um, that, that we've got we've got so fodder for a few more weeks. Do you know something? I think she think I've got fodder for several years worth of these. So. Uh, but uh, but I usually take a bake after every ten vo ten ten volumes on a in a season. So so. Uh... <coughs> <coughs> oh, tickly but tickly cough. I should really have a glass of water or something, shouldn't I, for, to do these things with, or a juice or something like that. I never think about it. Sometimes I get a cup of coffee, and what usually happens is it sits beside me while I'm doing these things, and an hour and ten minutes later, I decide to have a drink of it, and of course then it's got a little skin on the top of it, and isn't exactly warm anymore it's kind of lukewarm rather than being anything else okay I'm bracing myself it's very quiet thus far could happen though there's actually nothing written on this side so that kind of could say it spell absolutely nothing <laughs> Let's have a little look. I'm going to fast forward it a little bit now. See if we can get some sounds. Hang on. 
Oh, hang on, there was some specky noises there. Doesn't sound like a happy tip, does it? It most definitely does not. That's the problem with these things, though. You know, you, the, the thing is, people get up them on shelves for years and years and years and years and years. Um, and you don't. Yeah, I mean, to be fair, most of the time they're copies. And anything modern day collectors are interested in, of course, are the originals. They're not interested in what was somebody's shelf or whatever else is, or what hidden gem might actually still be there. So, so unfortunately, we end up with a with, with a situation where these died. But that's okay, because that's what was going to happen to them anyway. So, so, um, and to be fair, they, they were the they were the the eighties um, piracy of the time, weren't they? So. Uh, no, we're not. We're not looking. We're not. We're, look, we're not looking good. Let me just fast forward a bit there. No, it sounds terrible, doesn't it? it? Sounds 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 like we're sounds like sounds like we're not shifting anything there. We're not really moving anything there. So so I think that's a, that that one. That one is a bit of a failure, I'm afraid. Right, I'm gonna. There are two other Amsoft ones that that I was given as part of this. So 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 I'm gonna go grab one. Just hang on a second. I'm just across the room. I'm just going up. Now, we're going to grab one. I've got this. There are two others. So, what we'll do is I'll grab one of these and we'll see whether or not we can get it to work. There's one right now. Right. Okay. So, I've got one. I've got another one now. I'm just going to go for it because it's just an am soft one at the end of the day. Um, it says on it, on the top of it, it says Big Sleeves. I don't think I've ever played the Big Sleeves. What a game I recognise. Now, that doesn't work either. Let's try that again. Ah, oh, that wasn't loading properly anyway. That wasn't the right sound. That wasn't the right specky sound. Didn't sound right at all. No, that doesn't sound right at all, does it? That sounds like... Is that Amstrad? Can't be. Another very squeaky one, to be honest with you. Squeaking a bit. Don't hear any more sounds though, that's what's more worrying. If it was loading, it would be loading, wouldn't it? No, no not going very well. What else we got here? Right. Well, we might have to move to the other one if this doesn't work. Let's give it a try, flip it over quickly. We'll rewind, see if there's anything on the second side. There has been something that's been taped over on the second side. It says title and then there's been a bit, a bit of tape put over the top of it. So so I don't know what it says underneath the tape. I suppose I could peel it off, couldn't I, really? Do I dare peel it off before we start? <laughs> Big sleaze. It sounds, it sounds like a game I might have quite liked. Uh, was it Play It Again, Sam, which was the one that was a bit, bit like... Um, Back to school or school days, which was that kind of whole adventure thing with whatever else. They were brilliant, were they not? Is it just me? But those were absolutely amazing for the time. They were just such big adventures, and 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 the whole you know pushing buttons, doing this, that, and the other. And then you got to back to school. Wow, what an amazing game that was! Just absolutely brilliant. Right, that said, that went do do. Right, let's listen to the sound here a little bit. Mm, it's good sound. She's not picking it up. It's a good, good sound. It, it, it sounds it sounds like it should go it does it sounds like it should go let's see if we can let's adjust the head let's adjust the head we'll do the head adjustment shall we hang on well, i'm really I'm, I'm really badly prepared today for this i'm very badly prepared hang on across the room i'm looking i'm, I'm looking for my, my my screwdrivers hang on oh we got them found them right let's find the right one 
let's get this head let's see if we can adjust it slightly while it's while it's playing let's see if this helps Let's try that again. We'll give it a try. I don't think we're having a good time here with this. That's worse. That was significantly worse. It just made it worse. Nope, it's not having it. Right, okay. One side with that one. Nature of the beast with these, I'm afraid. I can't have another whole episode though of one. Right, we're going to the fourth tip. Fourth tip of the lot. And this should have Pedro on it. Now, I, pe no, I know Pedro, but I've played this before on my channel. Um, this is one that came... I, I was in the... Um, was in the bow jolly collection i think it is quite liked it well no i didn't i think i hated it yeah i think i hated it to be honest with you i couldn't get the, quite get the grasp of it you had to like protect the garden from a load of um, marauding ants and other things it just didn't go very well. There we go. That's Pedro's definitely going to load. So we got Pedro anyway. So uh, as I say, not a game I was a big fan of in the back in the day. Um, I don't think I had it actually. I think it had a part of a Bo Jolly collection. I think that's where I had it. I only played it because it's BC Bill as well, which is totally on PC. Which is uh, a game where you have to. Um, grab women. Um, yeah, so to, to, no, I don't not convinced that nowadays it would get away with, with it would get away with it. To be honest with you, so not sure at all. Come on, Pedro, you can you can you can do it. We'll give it a try. I've only got one more side to do basically on this tape anyway, so we'll give we'll give it a try. If this doesn't work. We'll move on to the next part. Nice solid signal though. Look at the lovely lines on that. That's a really beautiful, strong, um, you know, recording signal going on there. But but just 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 not not. You know the thing is they age these tapes. They're not the, they're not the best. I suppose we could always say it was Amstrad, couldn't we? <laughs> we could always blame Amstrad, couldn't we? We can blame we can blame Mr. Sugar for this. Right. Okay. Let's rewind this side, and then we've got this next one. Um, let's give it a whirl. No Pedro though. Sorry guys. I don't think you're going to miss out on anything though. If you want to see it, it is on my channel. Um, I'll put a link in the description below. Uh, not one of my favourite ones. Um, imagine had, would you? <sighs> did they have a really bad spell at the beginning or something similar? Do you think that was what it was? I mean, I think these games gave, gave them the sales, but but do you think they had a really bad spell at the beginning? Do you think that that uh, that that some of their their early ones are a little bit hit and miss? I think I think I, I think I can I think that's a fair comment to make about them actually very hit and miss some of their early games um rewind 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 now i have actually think i've actually played uh, moon buggy before it's quite a good game if i remember rightly um in fact i know it's a, i'm sure it's a good game it's a good shoot 'em up it's again remember what i was talking about earlier about uh, you know quality sort of uh uh, uh, um, yeah, so you see, I even knew it was load code. Do you see that? I even put load code in to get this on because I knew it was a, a vision game. That's it. Yeah, vision software factory. No, it's a good one, this one. This is a really good shoot 'em up. This is so worth your time. Um, if you can find a copy of it, get a copy. You can probably download It's probably free now, to be fair. I bet the licensing's gone on it. I bet there's just, you can just get it from distribution, so you can get it from your favourite Spectrum sites. Um, Spectrum Computing is one of those. Got a little look for them. <coughs> And, and you can go from there. Had a lovely cover on it of a sort of moon buggy just sort of flying across this the surface of a red moon. It was really, really, really good. I have to admit, I really like this game. It's a good one. Definitely worth playing. So we've had some successes here. We haven't we haven't complete failures. I do think that that, that still think that Armageddon's um, fashion 
um, fashion soft game um, was just unreal I think that I think that was one of those games you really want to spend some time with and have a little look at but anyway we've still got the crash one to go we've got that we're going to keep on going to keep on with that Metabolis just don't know it I know I know I, I'm sure pretty sure I know the other three but Metabolis is not one that I know not one that I know and it, the other thing of course about tapes of the, the of a certain age is that there was different qualities of tapes um, I've sp talked about this before there's different um, ferrous qualities a bit like oh no you can't do that to me I don't want it to fail not on that one I want that one on we want this one on right I'm finding it on ZX play um, it, right you know the, there are there are um, yeah there are ra various sort of uh, ZX play is going to give it because we, cause we want to play this one because I like this one it's a good game actually so moon buggy um yeah there are various qualities of, of tapes so of course it is very it is very possible that that you know certain ones are better than other ones and and so so forth and so on so 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 it, you know it is quite possible that knowing knowing mr mr sugar um and his cost effectiveness he probably wasn't exactly the most you know he was probably given the option of doing um, better quality tapes, um, 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 and you know, they have been, been given the, they have been given the financial facts of it. You know, this one costs this much, and it takes so long to, to sort of, you know, to before it degrades. And he probably thought, yeah, nobody's going to be playing on a Spectrum in, in thirty years' time. So, so he probably went with the lower quality, which is absolutely fine. It's a business decision at the end of the day. So, that's 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 how he would have how he would have done it. So, here we go, Moon Buggy. Play ZX. What, a, what an absolute lifesaver this thing is. It's just an amazing bit of kit. Just the fact that you can you can play them off your mobile phone. You know, use a thing like this and stick it into your computer. Brilliant. You can't really beat it, can you? Well, I don't think you can anyway. There's a few other things, isn't there? There's that um, Arduino thing, isn't there? That, that you can do a tape Arduino or something. Duino um, that they've got, which is like a, a, a basically a tape thing that plays back. Um, um, TZX files, which are great because they're handy, and um, plays those back and it works. Those those work quite well. Um, you've got you've got you've also got of course you've got your div MCs, which are a fantastic thing. Um, in the comments below, if you'd like uh, like to see a video on um, various modern day solutions, um, I'd something I've probably been promising for ages, but something I really should do. But if, you, if there's enough interest, I'll do it. If you want to see um, modern day solutions to, to, to sort of loading games and, and cartridges and all this other kind of stuff. Give me a shout below because I'll, I'll do something individual because I've got I've got things that for the um, the Amstrad CPC I've got things obviously for the, the Spectrum which are, which are really brilliant really useful um, you know I've got things for various sort of consoles and things like that and I can show you the, the the ins and outs of these things so you can actually see what they actually look at look like because they, they at the end of the day. Um, if you want these things to survive, if you want to use original hardware, the, the easiest answer is to find some way of loading with modern solutions, realistically. Um, Spectrum games like this is great, but but as I say, those ones, it's you know those ones are, are really good as well, handy solutions, especially when things start to break. Now I can't remember the keys. That's jump. That's shoot. That's forward and back, so it must be jump shoot. So. That's jump, right? What shoot that one? So what you've got to do is you've got to shoot down all the aliens on 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 this level. I do like this because it's an arcade game. You know, it's a proper arcadey game. Um, there is there is actually music on here, and you basically is they shoot at two different levels. And I'm an idiot because I shouldn't have jumped off there. You can't drive over the spaces, unfortunately, which is a bit of a pain. Uh, the, all the gaps, but you can jump them obviously in your moon buggy because moon buggies jump, of course, don't they? We all know that. <coughs> so, basically, the idea is to clear the level of invaders, which is easier said than done. When they're not moving, when they're moving, moving out the way, get out the way, horrible creature. Um, while avoiding getting killed by whatever else it is, and it's randomised. Um, the 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 bottom, obviously, the the, the bits where you're, you're driving along. And it's just a nice arcadey game. I like it. I think it's a really good game. I'm not. I'm. I'm. I, I think. I think that 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 it was. It's well designed and it's it's simplistic enough that it and it works. Oh look at me getting s s clever and jumping gaps. Oh, shoot that one! Come on, I need to get this one. Oh damn it! It got me. I like the wheel where the wheels come off. 
Game over. That's a good game, actually. Congratulations, you achieved a high score. Uh, use symbol shift. Symbol shift. And press space for the letter. There we go. Oh, I can't spell my own name. There we go. Never mind. Press the key to gear. I'm going to have another go because it's good. I need to be on this section here because this is a much wider section. There's obviously more invaders. Ah! I do like it though. There's something There's something very attractive about the old the old style sort of... Uh, I'm terrible today. There we go. The old style sort of arcade games. I do like them. It's still, you know, one of my favourites. Still Jetpack to this day. I think we played it yes last week, didn't we? On the on the what's on the tape. Um, and Jetpack is still an absolute classic. It, it's you know, it's 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 it was well, last week or the week before. Either way, whatever it was, wasn't that long ago. It's still an absolute classic in my mind. And 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 Moon Buggy's pretty good actually. It's it's up there for me. It's it's a game that I I think is pretty pretty special. And I think it works really well. So. Um, Let's see if I can get my name in properly. Cool. There we go. Today's high score was wasn't didn't quite beat me on score. Just a good game. I would have played that with mates, you know. And because the game's just long, and short enough, you can kind of play and have a little bit of a fun. Um, and the more you practice, obviously, the better you get at it. I mean, it's just. And oh, I'm dropping stuff on the floor. And and. Things are really kind of quite. It's just really quite good fun. So anyway, right, crash tape. Here we go. Better luck with this one. Let's hope. Let's hope that we have much better luck with this one. They were. They were. They were. They were. They were all right. They were good. There was some good stuff on there. Ad Astra was brilliant, wasn't it? It really was. I've got to. Got to admit, we. I love Ad Astra. Right, let's get it on the old basic because that's the way it go. Let's push the play button on here. I got there. Okay. I wonder what was in the magazine for that time, well, for that date. Metabolis. Or was it metabolic? I'm asked pronouncing it wrong. <laughs> Probably am, aren't I? Yeah. Bolic. Oh, no, we don't do that. We're not doing that. No, no, we're not. We're loading. We're not messing me around now because I'm not having it. Not today. You've been told, Spectrum. I'm just grabbing a, just grabbing the screwdriver. This head, this head adjusting thing has not not been the the best of things. No, maybe. No, that would that just went wrong there. I could see it going wrong. I'll try it again. Right, no more head adjusting. That's it. I'm sure somebody listened to one of mine a while ago on one of my videos and they could tell from just the sounds of it that, that, that I'd, I'd got the head adjusted incorrectly. It's very possible, you know. Oh! It's looking closer. It just feels like one of these weeks at the moment. I'm not having the best of times with these things. One more go at this one, and then I'm gonna we're gonna please that exit because that's the easiest answer. Right, let's give it a whirl. Come on, we need a bit of luck on this one. Come on then, this is the bit where it goes a bit funny. Oh, there we go. Bit of... Oh, damn you. It's like it's playing with me. It's playing with me. It's playing with me. It's saying, it's saying, I, I will, I will load, but I won't. 
I'm just gonna go all the way with the head, I think. Can't go any further up. That actually looks much stronger as a signal anyway already. I think that's better. Let's see whether or not this is enough. It's still whizzing round, but it's not as bad. Okay, let's fingers crossed. Come on. Cross your fingers. No! It must have got worse. Yeah. Pain in the behind. Play ZX, where are you? I want to do it from the tape though, because I love the tapes. We've got to love the tapes. Right, play ZX. Let's get this thing. Let's get this thing in here again. Right, okay. Metabolis from Gremlin Graphics. Not a not a game I know that know of. Or not a game I remember. Metabolis. Metabolic? This is a pretty quick loader. Right, okay. Push the play button. Here we go. It's a much more str much stronger sort of I'm watching it now with like a hawk. I'm hoping for, for good luck. Okay. Don't breathe. Are you holding your breath again? Oh don't do that. <laughs> you know what happened last week? I had to call an ambulance. <laughs> what did we hold our breath for? Two and a half minutes or something like last time round when it was loading. Hey! Oh, now, does that ring a bell with me? No, not at all. It's like a big Hawkman dude. But not as cool as the one out of uh, um, Flash Gordon. It was a Brian Blessed, wasn't it? He was Hawkman. No, no idea. Can't remember. We're obviously going to be doing some flying, though, I'm going to assume, from, from, from the look of this one. Maybe. Maybe this week. We'll do some flying. <laughs> so is it like because we're called Metabolis because we're something kind of metabolic kind of changes or something? Do you know? Don't know. No idea. But we're loading anyway. Hope it would for nothing less. To be fair, t at the end of the day, again, tapes. I mean, th I don't think they will have gone for the high quality tapes when you came to recording on a, on a, on a, on a, you know, crash tape. I think they would have, you'd have, you'd have gone with whatever was there. And th the problem I have with a lot of these things is when they arrive, it's not really wow. Nobody's looked after them particularly. So, so a lot of my cover tapes are very much like that. They're, they're sort of, they're sort of faulty, effectively, because nobody's really looked after them. I suppose if it's been overused as well, that would be a possibility, I guess. A bit stretched, used a lot, played a lot. Don't know. Maybe. Feels like a long load, this one. I don't think it is a long load, it just feels like a long load. How we can define the keys? I don't mind finding the keys, but, uh, uh, the, 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 you know... I'd sort of define the keys. I tell you what, though. I, mean, I was just thinking there, right? I was just running through my mind. I was thinking there. You know, what is, what's your sort of... What's your what's your unicorn when it comes to sort of... You know, your mythical beast in the Spectrum world? What what game is it that you're looking for the most? I, I have I have a few, actually. Oh, this looks quite... He's got a little dicky bird thing there. That looks... This actually looks quite cool. It's literally nothing to do with the loading screen, though. This looks really good. Anyway, no, what's your unicorn? I have a unicorn. You know, one of my games that I've been looking for forever, right? Um, and it's a game that I've, I really, 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 really want. Um, and I can't find. I'm trying to find out what I'm doing here, though. Birdman, it's telling me what to do. Kremlin... You up to you to break there rain so I have to break their rain find the serum room to change 
into a man. Alright, located the wizard who will cure you of all ills. Set off the nuclear reactor. This is really weird. With four pieces of the nuclear fuel. You have to collect. Escape before the reactor explodes. Right, okay, keyboard, care. One number one. One. Pushing the button for one. Pressed one. Oh no, damn! What was what, my controls? What's my controls? I died already. One for keyboard. This is really weird. Right. Okay. Press one for the keyboard. I have pressed the button. Don't get excited. Oh. Left, right, up, down. That's my heart. That's me flying as a bird. Oh, and I float down. So you float down. Look at these aliens. It's cool, isn't it? Anyway, I was just saying though. Um, I have, I, I have, I have a few unicorns. You know, or I've got one unicorn. I really want to find a copy of a game called New Venture. Um, I, I remember that. I think it has a picture of a, of a sort of um, something called the Falcon Car on the front of it. Now I'm really out there looking for this. This is one of these games that. Uh, this is my. This is this is this is my unicorn. This is the game I want to find. I didn't see very many copies of it, and it's it's it on the scale of things. It's probably not the most exciting of games in the world. Um, you have to, um, you have to. You have to basically run a shop, um, 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 different types of shops, um, selling goods. Brilliant! It's something just really excellent about it. Um, it's very, very. There's, there's nuclear power. Excellent, found that. He's coming at me. Must fly past him. Um, yeah, and that's what you meant to do with it. Oh God! Oh, pound, bounded out of the room. That was cool. Got to be human though, I guess, to get past that. Um, but yeah, it was one of those games. I just really, really love it, and 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 I have to admit, it, it's 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 my unicorn. It's the game I want to find. It's the game I want to add to my collection. It's the game I want to to have um, for the spectrum. I don't know why. It's just really, it's real strange. I suppose that that, that that's the game that gets that that, that that I go. Yeah, that's the game I want. You know. So so um, yeah, really odd. What's your unicorn? Have you got a unicorn? I know a few people with a few unicorns, but my my unicorn is is that game, New Venture. Not even graphical, really, in its nature. Just a few graphs occasionally when you win certain things. Ah, I've died straight away. You get caught by that thing. You get killed straight away. I quite like this, though, by the way. It's quite good. It, the graphics are stunning. I really like the the, 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 the creature. It's, it's quite a weird one as well. Metabolis. Yeah, I quite like it. I don't know whether I've played it before though. I feel like I feel like I should have done. I'd have been delighted if I'd got this though from 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 for 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 from my you know magazine. Delighted. There's a nuclear power thing. Yeah. Flying through town now. That's good. I'm concentrating too heavily on it. I just like the fact I like the graphics. I like it when they when people went all out with spectrum graphics and the backgrounds and things like that, and they used all the colours. It was really nice. You just didn't. You did, it would felt. It felt good that they were doing that. Not sure what I'm meant to do with the objects. You feel like you must put them somewhere, don't you? I'm just flying from room to room to room and just enjoying the scenery. Kind of cool. I got some cheese now. I don't know what my. Do I have a button for using items? Can't seem to find one. Look at those aliens, they're cool. I want to find the thing to become to become I'm dead, I think. Yeah, I am dead. Lovely graphics on the thing, but I am already dead by the way. I've been killed by that creature at the top there, that little zappy thing. It, it murdered me heinously. That was really cool. Wasn't that cool? You like that one? I like that one. That was good. That was really good. Absolutely brilliant. Right, on we go. Tape back in, and we're going to try and load the next one, which is non -truacuous. So we're going to have non -truacuous. Best time. 23 hours, really? I'm 
Gonna get it onto load whatever else it is. Did it? Did non Tracuous have a man floating around in a spacesuit? I think it did, didn't it? On the outside of it. That was the that was the that was the thing. I sort of, I'm sure it was a spacesuit. I'm not sure I've actually played this actually. I might have done. I feel like I should have done. Right, here we go. Non Tracuous. Non Truacuous. Great name. Yep. Yep, NT. Now, it's, I, I don't know the, the, the thing about this. I think, I'm sure it's a space adventure. I'm not entirely sure whether... I think it's platform. Um, I'm not sure... I'm not sure the story at all. I did, I, was, I did like Soul of the Robot, but I never understood what I was doing in it. When I got bought Soul of the Robot, I was just... Isn't it funny? Bought it. I quite like doing the jumping around in it. No idea what I was actually meant to do with it. I don't know whether or not... Um, oh, is non tracuous the, the, the ship? I don't know. Um, but Soul of the Robot, no idea what I was doing in it. Absolutely non -tool. I just love the cover, because it's like a little robot with wings. It's like a little angel robot. It was really weird. But, but uh, you know, I, I I loved that game. I just don't know, don't know you know... I, I, I just... <laughs> but I just didn't know what I was doing in it. Absolutely no idea at all. It's a bit like Underworld. Underworld's in one of those games as well. And, uh, you know, people are going to go, Oh, Underworld, that's an ultimate game. But ult Underworld... Underworld, one of those games where you to get past certain creatures because it was was it the early days of the Colossus? Oh, I see, you know, you know the the whatever that game is. What's the game with the Colossus in it? Shadow of the Colossus. Yeah, modern day game. Right. Okay. So modern day game, Shadow of the Colossus. Basically, the the the, the whole game centers around I think killing so many colossi, um, if that's what you call multiple colossus. Anyway, um, killing those in Underworld, you couldn't be killed by anything. Um, other than I don't, the creatures didn't kill you. It was the falls or or various other things that killed you. If that makes sense. So it wasn't it wasn't the creatures, the monsters. They just knocked you off. They were kind of like um, targeting kind of things. Now beating the creatures to get further into the underworld or get to escape the underworld, you had to have the specific weapon that went with it. So you think you start with a catapult, or I don't think you, or maybe you don't start with anything. Either way, if you start with a catapult, say it's the catapult, you then had to go through and, and, and sort of shoot um, the various creatures to get the next thing. So say it became a crossbow, and I can't remember what they were, so you can shout at me in the comments, please. Um, because it's been a while, and I've got a copy, and I haven't tried it, and I must get it back on again, because it's something that's not been a while. Anyway, you, you, can, you could try that. In fact, if you've got an Xbox One, you can try it in the Rare Collection, because it's in there as well. There's quite a few actual um, fantastic um, Rare games that are in there. But, anyway... But you could you could sort of pass on various sections in there, but but I just found myself found myself sort of bouncing around forever, not necessarily doing anything specific. So that was a bit of a a bit of a problem for me. And, and, and I say I don't think I, I don't know if I've ever played non -Dracuous. Um As I say, Dave uh, Bertel waxes lyrical about it. He says it's a it's a great game. Um, I don't think he's ever explained what the game is, and I don't even know if it's on his channel. I'm sure it must be. If it isn't on his channel. You know, please, get your finger out and do it, please, Dave. Okay, anyway, um, <laughs> so, so, um, yeah, non tracuous no idea. <laughs> and Soul the Robot, never knew what I was doing in it. Just sort of chilled out and, you know, knocked around in it. It was great, but it was just one of those things, you know, one of those, 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 those those games that there was quite a lot of those games actually though and there was just some of them that would hold my attention and some of them wouldn't and that was one of them gift from the gods gift from oh, the gods is another game that's very similar you had to wander around you had to do maps really to do anything with gift from the gods and it was that was that was it really so but i'm pleased it's loading off the tape that's uh, that holds out good hope for for mountain of cat which i do think is an adventure game to be honest with you and the ultimate warrior ultimate warrior Oh. Big load. Lots of memory being used. All 48k. And it won't be 128k because I'm not in that mode. <laughs> oh, hang on. Did I talk too, talk too soon there? Oh, maybe there was a... F maybe there was a... 128k version because that was like sound in the background of it that was really weird hang on what's this there's a man punching the screen what's oh it's crashed hasn't it 
Oh no! After all that? Oh no, it hasn't! So there must have been a hundred... Was there a 128k version? Really? In 1985? Really? That was so weird. What did it do there? Right, one. What? Num number one. One. What am I? Where am I? I'm this ball thing. All right, and I've got a laser. Okay, I can see that. I can see the similarities to the levels of. Um, there's something about bombs, so I'm obviously collecting bombs. I can see the similarities now to uh, Sold the Robot. The level design is very similar. Very similar indeed. Have we got? L What's this? I'm shooting it, but nothing's happening. Okay. Yeah, okay. That was such a weird loader, wasn't it? I thought it was all going to fail. It didn't. What was that about? No, there wasn't a 128k version of this. You're joking if you think, think there was. There was definitely not. Oh, bomb. What am I going to do with that? How do I pick it up? There's got to be a button to pick up. Bombs. Pushing all the beat keys on the keyboard. Whoa, did I pick it up? Hang on. What happened there? Ah! What have I done? It's exploded near me. I blew myself up, basically. Because I didn't know what I was doing. What an idiot. Right, okay. Ah! <laughs> oh dear. It's going like that. I actually quite like it. I, get, I, get, I can see I can see the the uh, the appeal. And this should have been a 199 game as well. This should have been you'd have been chuffed with this. You'd have been delighted with this game for 199. I would have anyway. Oh shop swap. Right. Ah! I is the button. That makes me something else. Right, right. So I have pushed the I button. I've turned into this. Can I pick this up if I press I on it? Yes, I can. Amazing. Right, let's see if I can blow up that thing in that next room. See if what happens. I don't know what this advantage this thing gives me, though. Let's press... That type of psychic contains decay. I'm dead again. Right. I must get the instructions out for this. I'm gonna have to play it for full on real. Not just 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 not just, just the what's on the tape. This is kinda cool. It is just kinda cool, I like it. Just something about it that's kind of it's going to hold my attention, I can see. And the thing is, I feel like the rooms are logical enough, because that's that's the same room. Um, ah, you idiot! That are logical, <laughs> logical enough that... Oh, God. I'm getting so excited now. Logical enough that I could actually see myself finishing these, these you know, playing this for, for some significant length of time. Yeah, brilliant. Like it. non terracuous Definitely worth playing. So the two there, really good off this cover tape. They're really, really, really good off this cover tape. Very impressed. Oh, I can swap any time. I don't know what the difference between the two droids is, but I'm sure there's something to it. Oh, I like it. So I can pick up this bomb. If I press the I button, I can pick up the bomb. Oh, sugar. I'm so bad. Just not checking the rooms. That's really good, that. Stephen N. Curtis and, um, and Math, uh, Mark Jacobs. Very good. Like it. Very good indeed. Great game. Let's turn this tape over. And let's, let's, let's head to the mountains of Ket. And see if they're any good anyway. It might be funny to see what happens in the mountains of Ket. do 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 
It's a massive rewind. Huge tape. Huge tape. Massive. Right. Okay, let's go down. I loaded dip. Always the way. Loaded loading with loading spectrum games is always your friend. It's very your friend. Right. Apologise for the uh, upscaler again, sticking its uh, sticking its nose in again. Doesn't do it on the uh, the grey one for some reason, but it does always does it on the plus two. Don't don't know why. There must there must be some um, drop in the the video imaging when you push the reset button on a on a plus two A rather than the plus two whatever else it's. This works. I'll be amazed. Yeah, that didn't look good to begin with. I knew that wasn't going to be good. <laughs> oh, it's not a good tip. No. Let's just the head a little bit. Huh? Amazingly, just a little bit, little bit of adjustment there. Teeny tiny bit of adjustment. Amazing. Didn't think that was going to work there. Just a wee bit of adjustment. It does actually, obviously, does does help. A little bit. <laughs> See, I'm utterly convinced this is a, some kind of action-adventure game. I'm sure I've played it before. Not sure how in impressed I was with it. It's by um, Incentive. doesn't say Incentive Software, but I'm assuming it is Incentive Software. It tends to be like that. Yeah, it's the Ket Tr Trilogy. I have played this before. Um, never really got into it. Uh, it was, was it released on something else already? Yes, it was. It was... Micro Mega, I think, originally released it. I think I've got a copy somewhere um, by Micro Mega. Not, not big fan of. Um, more okay, so I don't think I got into. I don't think I could get into the understanding of it. Um, I don't know anybody else who's actually ever raved about it and gone, "You must play the Mountains of Care," because um, it's a trilogy, and there are definitely. I think there are. They definitely got to three. You can correct me in the comments below, but but. I'm sure they got to three, and if they got to three, then 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 you know they they must have done all right with the with the various sales. I mean that was the point, wasn't it? I mean those early days of sales. I mean I think there was the overheads. I think were quite probably quite low for mass producing tapes. I bet you, I bet they were. I bet they were very very low for mass producing tapes. And in fact, you probably didn't need an awful lot of money at all to, to actually start up and do it. Interesting to see what uh, you know um, current uh, suppliers of tapes, whether or not their overheads are particularly high. I doubt they are. I doubt there is. I bet the worst now because you, we're not we're not making tapes on mass. But I don't think they're that awful. I think you can you know if you if you gain a thousand tapes, say or a hundred tapes or something similar, I bet they're cheap cheap enough. Um, I've certainly looked recently at uh, new tape cases, and they're they're not overly expensive really. Um, a little bit more than you might think, but but not overly expensive. I'm sure it was like 25 pence when you, once you got over like 10. You know, you bought 10 of them, you got them for 25p. You don't think it was very expensive. And of course, it's delivery on top of that, which is, of course, is a bit annoying because the tapes and the certain size to those things. But uh, otherwise, they were, they were absolutely fine. So The Ket Trilogy. I'm not even sure what this is about. No idea. I did like non terracuous though. Yeah, that was good. Did like that Montraculous. I do, do you know so I have a feel I almost feel like I played this before on a part of a um part of a part of a what's on the tape. I don't think I have, but it feels it feels like I have. Um Maybe the games are just very familiar at this point. But I don't remember playing non terraculous that's for certain. And that, that one with the little dicky bird at the beginning, that meta metabolist thing. Not sure about that one either. <coughs> Oh, little tickle again. Almost there. Brace yourselves. I do hope you all get yourself a couple before listening to this. I mean, I'm, I, I, I'm going to assume that most people listen to it and only flick back occasionally when they when they do it. I do that with a lot of with a lot of YouTube channels. I tend to listen rather than necessarily watch. So I'll be doing something else and I'll be listening rather than watching as such. 
Of course, I do have to watch Dave Bertel um, when he's on and Andre people, but uh, um, you know that, 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 that's uh, that's that has to be done. But uh, you know you do. But I don't. I do tend to listen. I think more than I do watch. It's one of those things. I think a lot of people probably do that. I, and if you watch some of the some of the you know some of the other um, sort of big channel people, they don't. No, you know they're busy throwing up graphics on the screen and things like that. They're not doing an awful lot other than chatting, though. You 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 could, you could actually flick away from it and just listen. It's it's almost a podcast with pictures, to be honest. It's not it's not anything more exciting than that. And another thing, I think that's what I I, I I hope that you listen rather than necessarily go away and and and, and turn off or glue to the screen because of course all you're watching right now is the same as I'm watching, which is blue and yellow lines going up and down down the sides. But here we go. Um, but anyway. Right, Mountain of Ket, the first in the series by, yeah, McCorm- McCormick. McCormack. Right, press the key. Okay, uh, yeah, I remember this. There's some stats things that are going on. It's working stuff out right now. Uh, prowess is your measure of short swordsmanship. Uh, phys- uh, energy is your physical condition. Look is self explanatory. Yeah, it is. Please wait a moment. Press the key. Ah, yes, that's it. We are both on the road with... We are... Oh, sorry, we are both? I'm reading the line below. We are on the road with fields on both sides. Um, To the east is a village and a wood. Let's go east, then. Uh, We are a crossroads in the village centre. Where are... There are buildings all around. Enter building uh, I don't know let's go east again then that leads to the east and west and there's a posh house to the north let's go in the north house the house is well kept and it has two floors there's also a cartographer the cartographer just says gosh it's cold set fire to him <laughs> it's just set fire. There we go. Sorry, I don't know what to do. All right, fair enough. I'll say hello, hello. Can't talk to say hello. Say. Uh. Give. Can't spell give. Give. Oh gosh. Give me. Me. Your. Wallet. Can't spell wallet. He says, go away. He actually said, I said, give him, give me, give me a wallet. He said, uh, you know, and he said, go away. Brilliant. Right. Okay. South. Then. then some east. East. See, one of these ones is where you have to read the manual to go with it. It's not what I thought it was. I thought the one I was thinking of was like, um, you know, uh, 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 inventory. Trusty sword. Yeah. Um, the one I was thinking of was a little bit different to, to, to this. It, it had like a, a graphical interface around it. It's not quite the same game. Um, would I enjoy this? I don't know. The thing about it is that, you, you know, the problem with typing adventures is they kind of had their day, didn't they? They've gone now. They don't exist. You know, I don't think... I don't think I've seen a typing adventure for a very long time. And they were very popular at one time. I remember, because if you go back to about 93, is it? 91, 92, 93? One of those dates, anyway. Um, you've got Beyond the Zork, um, or Zork, um, and um, the Leather Goddess of Phobos. And you had lots of games by that. Oh, what was the name of that company? Or, oh, um, Inst... Infragram, Infragram, that was it. Infragram. They had lots of games that were very much sort of that kind of text adventure, um, and this they were they were they were popular enough. Don't get me wrong. They they they, they required lateral sort of thinking, you know, sort of that something different kind of approach to it. Um, so it was kind of clever, um, but but as I say, I don't. I, mm, yeah, they just they disappeared, didn't they? Disappeared into time. 
Warrior. I'm sure this is isometric, I bet it is. So I was wrong about the Mountain of Ket, so, so obviously I'm, I've not played that one in a long time. I definitely have a copy of it though, it was definitely, um, um, yeah, uh, Micro Mega. Okay. Now this could be, as I say, CRL's 3D game creator. There's quite a few of them out there. There was a graphic adventure creator, wasn't there? And there's a few others. And there was I, one recently that came to my mind was the 3D construction kit. That was out there as well. Do you remember that? 3D construction kit. God, that was a that was a blast from the past. Copyright Airline Software 19 Oh, it was actually a brand new one. Character creator and maybe maybe wrong, maybe it's a completely new game. Many games, utility programs at one ninety nine, two ninety nine. Please send a stamp dressed envelope for our free software catalogue. Here's a free exa here's a small example. Character designer, touch typing tutor, word processor, and database. Airline software. Um, Beacon View Road. Ch class. Swansea. Yeah. I think it's just started raining outside. My little lad's just gone out in the rain for fun. There we go. He's going to come back soaking wet in a second. <laughs> Never mind. Right. No, I don't... Uh, it could be the game I'm thinking of. It might not be. It looks like they... It, I mean, it looks from the loading screen that they very much created something here for Crash. I liked Crash. Did you think that was the edgier magazine? I mean, there was the, they were fairly edgy, to be fair, at the time. I mean, they were proper lads mags of, uh, of, of, of spectrum goodness. I mean, you had Sinclair User, which was definitely edgy. Um, you know, Sinclair... Uh, sorry, not Sinclair User. Sinclair, your Sinclair, which was definitely edgy. I mean, Sinclair User, I thought, was more sort of a um, hoity-toity in comparison. I, I always th thought that. Maybe I'm wrong. but uh, And I always thought Crash was kind of, like, just too cool. Too cool for school, if that makes sense. It was the, there was those beautiful covers by, and I can't remember the name of the, the artist. We all know who he is, though. Um, there was amazing cover art that was always done on them, and and I just always felt it was kind of, as I say, really really cool. It was just somebody done something really great with with the with it, and it was just it was just quality um, magazine. And in fact, that the Crash Smash is such a sort of talked, talked about thing. You know, think about games that are Crash Smash. I mean, I don't even know what the equivalent was for your Sinclair or Sinclair user. What was it? Mega game or something? I don't know. But Crash Smash was the d definition of a quality product because they they seem to be they seem to be um, good guys when it came to actually doing these things. They they were they were honest about what they were actually showing you and producing there. So, um, or certainly I felt they were. Did your Sinclair was definitely purchased there a few times? I definitely had a few of your Sinclairs in my time, and was, there was they were kind of cool. I've got a few actually here at the moment. I quite like reading them. Right. Airline software. I don't know what else airline software did, apart from obviously character designer, touch typing tutor, word processor and database. I wonder what happened to them. Do you reckon that, that uh, address, by the way, is just his house and, you know, his mum and dad's house? He was probably only like 16 or something at the time when he did this. Possibly. Maybe. It's one of the weird and wonderful times. We really miss out on that homebrew scene nowadays. Homebrew stuff is just just doesn't exist. It's definitely it's definitely an isometric. It's definitely um, what I think it is, which is um, a little yeah. There we go. Now this is created with who's who's whose creator was this? There we go. Let's shoot and let's just jump. Yeah. So basically, the idea of this is just to escape the maze. That's all there is to it. And it goes horrendously slowly because it's so badly created that the, 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 the engine is so poorly optimised that once you get into a room like this, the slowdown just becomes absolutely horrendous. Yeah, so it's just a case of making it out of a room. And I hate this because of the way it, this is these rotational turns and whatever else it's never quite get it right. And you've got to move quick or these things get you and then you can't get out of the room. And they're trying to jam me in and push me out. Look. And you can't get out. Oh, it's irritating as hell, this. Yeah, now I'm stuck. Yeah. 
so it's 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 got some flaws so this is that this is definitely a crl um isometric um generator thing it was pretty simple to do you could create your own designs for the walls doors um and the, the rooms um the only issue was that of course it didn't really cope with multiple items so the, the fact that you've got five um yeah five items plus the main sprite himself there in that room when you run into it can't do it just can't process it it cannot it cannot process it fast enough it becomes horrendously slow as you can see look at that look at the speed on that oh dear me so yeah not not particularly good i think i may have played this this may have actually appeared on the on on the vega i think this has may have actually been added on the vega so this is probably where i've played it before anyway this was that was ultimate warrior um i've been your host real genetic team and thank you for watching please feel free to like and subscribe and i'll catch you in the next video bye bye now